Okay, going on. Train for danger. Not every member of City Watch or Village Militia or the Queen's Army is a fighter. Most of these troops are relatively untrained soldiers with the most basic combat knowledge. Veteran soldiers, military officers, uh, trained bodyguards, dedicated knights, and similar figures are fighters. Asterix here. Depends on your campaign, right? This says that only veteran soldiers, military officers, and trained bodyguards, dedicated knights, etc. are those fighters that have the levels in these classes, right? But I think depending on your campaign, if it's it's high magic versus low magic. I guess you just have to compare it to other things in the, the campaign, right? What does your level one look like? What does your level 20 look like, right? If your relative fighters are, or sorry, your relative guardsmen are not fighters, they're just regular common folk, right? And that would probably mean that the level 20 of your characters are godlike, that like how other people say, right? And I think that's how people kind of translate the game is once you get to level 20, you're killing gods. Uh, and gods are can sometimes be a lot stronger than that anyways. But if you put your level one fighter as all of your guards, if all guards have a level one fighter, which to me makes sense because they have been trained in a couple of different martial things, and level one fighter really doesn't give you a lot as far as, uh, like, like nothing to me says that what you get as a level one fighter is not something you get as a guard, that, that, but that's just me. And so if you do that, your level one fighter versus your level uh, 20 fighter, in comparison, you're not godlike anymore, right? So at that level 20, it's more common in your world. That's what I'm talking about with high magic is that level 20s is more common in your world is because because everything has shifted a little bit. Does that make sense? Does that, am, I, am I making sense right now? And so uh, that's what I prefer in my games. I prefer a higher magic. And so that when uh, we do reach level 20, sure, you might, you might be fighting gods, you might be, or you might be fighting the other level 20 politician that's uh, also super, super strong, right? Um, and I think that it's less that level 20 is godlike and more that certain spells are godlike, right? Uh, like Wish or um, what a Dream of the Blue Veil, like those kind of spells that are kind of reality breaking. Those are more godlike than like the actual level 20 classes. And so uh, one quick fix, if you want your characters to go to level 20, but you don't really want them to travel the planes and kill gods, then just take away those few spells instead of, you know, not allowing your campaign to get that far.